Hello everybody and welcome back to the only airline in the entire world that's likely to use the phrase put your head between your knees and kiss your ass goodbye in its safety video. This is Prado Air. And um, in the tradition of what I've been doing lately with the series I've been making or attempting to make, I made one episode so far. <laughs> um, we will be traveling uh, to random airports around rural New South Wales. So last time you saw me, we left off here in Cooma in the Snowy Mountains. This time around we are going to be leaving off in Adaminibi. That is if the May I can't. can get its proverbial poo together and figure out how to land there. Because I tried to make some footage the other day um, involving this this exact flight and the AI pilot ended up doing about three go-arounds just to get it right, uh, which, well, let's put it this way, there's a reason why I'm remaking that, the video now. <laughs> it was it was shocking, not to mention the fact I've noticed there was a significant sound problem in all of my previous recordings and I've had to delete every one of them, so I'll be remaking every one of them again. Uh, which is that the game's audio was overlapping my own voice. So I have since gotten my old USB mic down from the shelf and dusted its, well, dusted its dust off. Uh, and here we are. Hopefully this sounds a lot better. I'll be giving it a test listen a bit later on. Please, again, excuse the, the, the choppiness of the stream, but you know, Me and to silence a burp just then. And again, wow, we that okay. But you know, Australian internet. But like I said the other day, my, my laptop actually doesn't have a problem running this game on high end settings, if not ultra settings, some days if my internet connection is good enough, uh, which it's obviously not today. But at least we're not looking at something that looks like Flight Simulator X. Anyway, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride through the gorgeously beautiful snowy mountains of Australia. Yes, that does exist. There are snowy mountains in Australia. It snows here. Sometimes it's a lot better than it does in New Zealand. But uh, don't tell any of my Kiwi friends I said that. Anyway, hello Screech number 2953, I hope you're having a good day over there. If you end up watching this video, please give me a shout, mate. Just a like and a comment, just say hi. Be cool to know who I'm coming across. So, without further ado, here is our flight plan for the day. On the Isoline map, we're going to zoom out a little bit here. As you can see, the autopilot's a little bit off track, but he'll get there in the end. This Y-A-D-I, that's the A-D-I from Adam Inneby. The Y, I can't tell you why. I don't know what the Y actually stands for. It seems to be that all rural airports in Australia, or at least New Zealand, uh, New South Wales, please forgive me, have that Y in front of them. But anyway, this flight should take less than 10 minutes. Over here we have... Uh, that appears to be Lake Eucanby. It is Lake Eucanby, that's right, right, right here. Where the old town of Adam used to be, and it's uh, somewhere over here on the shore. I'll, I'll mark that out. There. There we go. Um, down here is across the snow one, 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 highway. I know my way around this area because I spent about 10 years living here. But this won't be the case with all of these airports. Also, if you have any suggestions as to what other airports you want to see around the world, even, uh, but preferably in Australia at the moment, please let me know. Um, I have already tried making my poor AI pilot land at Nuclear Airport in the, in, um, oh, 
what's it called, Mount Everest. Uh, and he didn't enjoy that very much. He wound up he wound up doing a go around, and as you know, with that airport, you can't do a go around because there's a cliff there, and he flew straight into said cliff. Uh, yeah, the AI pilot in this game seems to be a bit of a. Uh, he's not very smart. <laughs> but, then you're probably wondering why I'm using an AI pilot. That's because all of my USB ports are taken up, so I can't be using my wired mouse, and using a keyboard mouse to play this game just is not feasible. It's, um, it's quite hard. You can use the, the number pad buttons as well to steer the plane, but that's a little bit weird to me. I'm not particularly fond of doing that. So anyway, up off there in the distance there's Adamitibi Airport, the small town of Adamitibi, and he has a population of about 200 people, if it's lucky. I do love going there though. I wonder what old mate Screech over there is doing. He's probably over in Canberra by the way. Or something like that. No, I can't see him on the map. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm just curious. So let's see what other flight details we can come across in this area. I don't think there's any live traffic because most of it tends to show up on Flight Simulator, which is something I like. And it's all quite accurate too. Occasionally you'll come across like a helicopter or something. There is a helicopter hanging around over the snowy mountains that hasn't shown up on the map. Uh, and that is a privately owned helicopter. That's uh, BLE. It's, it's call sign. It's a Bell 407 GX. But this game doesn't have helicopters. So it's not going to can't render one. Now let's see what's happening over here on the ATC. Occasionally you come across something good on that too. Um, you know, other air traffic, live air traffic, they generally chat on there. I also have a scanner that I listen to my local airport with and occasionally when I'm taking off from there in this game, I will I'll listen to it and see if any of the air traffic is reporting when it should be or when the game records it should be. Uh, it can be quite spot on with that too. Can be. Not always. In fact, very rarely, but it can happen. I'm going to grab my wired mouse, but it's Yankee not plugged in because Delta I have to have the mic plugged in. Because my laptop mic is not good enough, apparently. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. It appears we're on the final leg of our approach, so would you please listen to the cabin crew, not that there is any on board this plane, this is probably a private jet. Either way, hang on tight to your champagne. Put your seats and tray tables in the upright positions and buckle your seat belts. You're going to need that last one with this guy. Once again, I'd like to thank you for flying Crudden. Air. Please make sure that you do not switch off any electric devices, especially if you're using them to watch this channel on YouTube. All you have to do really to make sure we don't crash. Well, that's probably not going to happen. But all I implore that you do is press that like button. Or leave us a comment. It is very important to us YouTube creators that you press the like button or even the dislike button. It is good to know if we're doing something wrong as well, something you don't like. Um, and that helps us improve our content. So once again, 
If you need to go to the toilet, I suggest going now, otherwise you're going to go in the pants pretty soon. Once this pilot, um... Once this pilot touches down. Last time he touched down at Adam Inubi Airport for me, he slammed the plane into the ground so hard that it bounced. Alpha Delta India traffic, Prattle Romeo Charlie Pop 1 is on final runway 9 to land. Here we go, this is the exciting part. Is he going to crash into one of the houses in the town? Or is he going to only just skim the runway? Stay tuned and find out. Hopefully hopefully you're not a white apple flyer and you are not afraid to stare death straight in the face because that's apparently what this AI pilot is all about. Look, they even put the pool in, that's cool. Oh, this jolting screen is making my stomach turn. Come on, the runway's right in front of you. You have to drop another, like, 500 feet. Oh, man. <laughs> You're gonna make it. Hello there, Cleanly Clan. Cleanly Khan, number nine, uh, 695. How are you, mate? Leave us a like and give us a comment, too. If you watch this video, Oh, what the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. We've thrown the throttles all the way back up. And... He is going for the go-around. Come on, pilot. Man, this guy cannot do it, can he? Yankee Alpha Delta, India traffic, Rattle Romeo, Charlie, Pop 1, going around. Come on, you know, Mr. Pilot, plane's supposed to be on the ground, right? There was plenty of runway there for this plane to touch down. One day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get myself a USB extension. It's just a matter of actually making some damn money off my videos. Because right now, I'm, thanks to COVID, I'm still sitting unemployed. I have no income for that kind of thing. And I figured I'd just sit and make videos instead. Alpha Delta, India traffic, Prattle, Romeo, Charlie, Papa, 1, 4 miles, northeast, 4,200 feet inbound to land, runway 9. Alright, that's it. The landing gear's coming back down. This pilot seems to have gathered his oats again. Uh, do you reckon he can do it this time? It normally takes him like three goes on this, this airport. I'm glad fuel is no object right now. Because we'd be running out. Well, we'd be, we'd be staring at crashing if this was an emergency landing. Let's see if correcting the ultimate Well, it appears it does not do anything. So, the pilot's on his own. I'm not even going to 
help out. Delta as India traffic from a bit of a nicer tab. One tree miles north, four thousand four hundred feet inbound to land runway nine. Okay, levers going down, levers up, going up. Come on, Australian internet. I really just need you to not look like pea soup right now. Oh, the streaming quality. This is enough to make a person air sick. Okay, bring it down. Bring it down, come down over the town, and you pretty much have to be touching the houses. Roofs with those wheels. Oh, hey. Excuse me. sitting on the edge of their seats now. Is the pilot going to do it this time? Is this going to be a successful thing? Is this one that will go down in the portfolio of his career as one of his achieving moments, his golden crown, as it were? Landing at the grass strip at Adam Inouye Airport. Just one problem, ladies and gentlemen, once you disembark the flight, I should warn you that there is no car rental service in Adam Inby. You will be walking into town. So do enjoy that. Should you wish to, you can order a taxi from Kuma. But it'll take about two hours to arrive. Hmm. Well, maybe one hour. We'll see. We'll see. Hello there, JK Wang416. Hope you're enjoying viewing this video if you are watching it once again. Please leave a comment, let me know. It'll be good to come across, or it'll be good to, to meet and interact with other players. Alright, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we will not be landing at Adam Inouye Airport. Instead, it looks like we're going to be running out of fuel and crashing into a field. What a tragedy. Oh, what's the, what's the AI pilot going to do um, <clears throat> with this? Is he going to be able to touch us down? safely or is this video coming to a tragic tragic end what's it gonna be i kind of got tired of of touch and goes that, that that really annoyed me engine not started you don't say oh here comes the ground thank you everybody for flying prado air i hope you guys enjoyed the video 
and I hope to see you next time. Whoa, is he actually going to handle this? Is this actually going to... What is going on here? Oh, that was actually quite smooth. Alright, everybody, goodbye, and thank you for watching.